Well, hello. Uh, I just want to kind of go over a couple things after exam two and talking about exam three, just some, you know, some bits and pieces uh, of information that, that might help you uh, do well as you move on. Um, upcoming in the next set of uh, topics are more trigonometry with law of sines, law of cosines, little uh, work on exponential equations and logarithmic equations, and then we do uh, conversions, okay? Uh, number base systems, hexadecimal, uh, octal, binary, okay? But keep in mind a couple things with the trigonometry. When you do law of sines, law of cosines, they're different uh, than right triangle trigonometry because you're going to be working with what are called oblique triangles. So make sure you watch my exa uh, the examples watch the videos some of those videos are mine some of those are the other person that uh, created this class a long time ago so I just figure why you know not keep those up there uh, they're all helpful now some people may prefer the old ones over mine some people may prefer mine over the other ones so there's a list of videos and most of the time I have at least one in there not always because sometimes I don't see the need to recreate something that's already there. Um, but most of the time, I have something up there. Uh, so just watch those. But you cannot use uh, Pythagorean theorem with these oblique triangles. That one's out now. You can only use Pythagorean theorem with right triangles. Uh, there's formulas for law of sines, law of cosines. The formula for law of cosines can be a little bit intimidating. So... Practice, practice, practice. Okay, trust me, practice. Uh, once you get to exponentials and logarithms, there's some conversions of how to change from one form to the other. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. Okay, uh, understand what goes where, and you'll see what I'm talking about, hopefully, once you get into that. And then once you do the uh, number system conversions, again, just make sure that, you know, you follow the process. Okay. Um, a lot of this stuff is for people in PLCs, uh, circuits, things like that. You know, you, you never real, realize how these things work. Computer programming, you know, it's just how you program stuff, okay, um, is how is we use different number systems. So, you know, that's something that where you use this stuff at in case you're just curious. Um, as far as the previous test went, you know, our scores were not quite as good as they were on that first exam, which, you know, I'm sure I told you about it. You know, once you get into exam two, that's where the rubber meets the road. Uh, it's where everything changes because you're doing those circuit triangles. Some people are not as comfortable with those because they're not in the program. So just try to do the math the best you can and uh, get what you need to get out of the course. Now, if you're in the program, a lot of this stuff probably is fairly familiar to you. Okay, so just do the practice. Uh, if you get stuck on something, send me an email. I will either answer you with an email on what to do, or I may send you a separate little video. Okay, sometimes email is hard to show examples on. Um, it just is. So that's why I strongly encourage you to watch the videos, look at the worked examples of the problem you're, you're stuck on, if there are some. And, you know, practice makes perfect, okay? So anyway, so uh, keep it going. Uh, semester's over halfway over, so many of y'all are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I will uh, touch base with you as the semester goes on about your final exam, because it has to be proctored, okay? But right now, let's focus on exam three. All right, have a good one.